Hi, everybody. How you doing? Thanks for tuning in tonight to Wednesday Worship Moment. Uh, my name is Mike Angelo, and I'm the Worship Director at PCC, and I'm so glad you're here tonight. Um, we've had so much fun over the last couple of weeks. Um, you know, ever since the quarantine started and PCC had to close our doors temporarily, we've just been looking for ways to keep people connected, um, to feel unified, to remain uh, the body of Christ, the movement of Christ, the church. And part of that is worship. Um, I'm outside right now and uh, it's been so beautiful lately. Actually, you're gonna hear a tractor passing by. That might have been James Loomis. Shout out to the Loomis farm. Um, but it's just been so beautiful lately, and um, as I've said before, you know, I'm a really, really avid gardener, and we raise pigs and chickens and all that stuff, but uh, <laughs> it's a little busy on the street today. I just, I wanted to check in and, and just say I love you guys, and I hope that you're still worshiping. I thought tonight I was going to put together a little kind of a compilation of some of the worship stuff from different people, uh, the Cardona family, it's been so, I'm so grateful for you guys and all the worship that you guys have been doing to help out. And Danielle um, and my daughter, Olivia, there's just been so many people helping out. I thought we might kind of do a little montage tonight and uh, just worship together with a couple of different songs from, I don't know, you wanna call it like a COVID compilation or something. But the reason why I was going to do that this week is just, it's been really busy. Um, there's a bunch of stuff going on in my life. I just won't go into the details, but, you know, just busy, basically. So I hope that you guys can have a wonderful time worshiping tonight. And, uh, yeah, let's worship. Let's, let's, let's do some worshiping together. One, two, one, two, three, four.
reasons for my heart to find. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, O oh my soul, worship His holy name. Sing like never before, O oh my soul, I worship Your holy name. Strength is failing, the end draws near and my time has come. Still my soul will sing your praise unending. Ten thousand years and then forever more. Bless the Lord. Worship His holy name. Sing like never before. Oh, my soul, I worship Your holy name. Worship Your holy name. I worship Your. Holy name. I 
lighthouse, my lighthouse, shining in the darkness. I will follow you. Well, thanks for worshiping together, guys. Um, I pray that you were blessed. Uh, before we parted ways, I just wanted to uh, read a little snippet out of this, this book I've been reading, How to Worship a King. Um, it's a really awesome book about worship, and I encourage anybody who has time to, to give it a shot. But um, this is just some words I wanted to leave you with. Uh, In reality, Jesus is the worship leader. He is the high priest. Your only responsibility is to obey him, obey him, and follow his lead. You are not responsible for the results. God is, because it is his spirit who makes people willing to respond to him. And um, to go a little deeper into that, you could uh, read Exodus 35:21. But really, I just want you guys to know that, you know, through all this, um, it's been a challenge for me. It's really hard when you're recording videos and stuff. Uh, you have this tendency to want to maybe go back and do it again or fix it up, fix it up or something like that. But um, my prayer is that you always know that my heart is never uh, about pleasing people. It's always just about worshiping. And that means there will be mistakes, you know, that means there will be slip ups and things that aren't perfect in the eyes of man. But when I worship, and the, a lot of the worship team, like when we're worshiping, we're just worshiping from our hearts. And God takes that and He's pleased. And um, yeah, so my prayer is that you can work that into your life, that you can strive to avoid the consumer society that we live in. And that consumerism creeps into our, our churches and into our faith and into our church services and into our very existence. And my prayer is that we can fight against that, um, if, if only to remain true to the gospel, to love Jesus, to put Jesus first, like it says in here, and leave the work up to Him. All we have to do is put our faith and our trust and our lives in the hands of Jesus, and He will do the rest. And to do that, we just worship, we just praise from the bottom of our hearts, and give it to Jesus. That's all we can do, actually. Remain true to the gospel. So I love you guys. Uh, I'm just going to close in a quick prayer. And we'll dismiss uh, from there. We'll, we'll go our separate ways. Jesus, thank you for this beautiful day. Thank you for how awesome the weather has been. I pray that everybody is able to get out in it if they desire and to worship you. Lord, help us to put you first. Help me to put you first, Jesus. And help me... When I'm worshiping and when I'm singing and when I'm serving and when I'm with my family and talking to people, that in all those things, I'm putting you first, Lord. And that's what worship is. That is giving you my heart. And so I pray that we can all do that. We love you, Jesus Christ. I ask your prayer protection on everybody and that we can come back together and worship together really soon. We love you, Jesus. Amen. Thanks, everybody. I uh, hope you can tune in next week, uh, Wednesday Worship Moments. 7 o'clock, Facebook, and YouTube. And uh, don't forget to tune in Sunday morning at 10.30, pompeychurch.org, Facebook, or YouTube for our uh, Sunday service. Love you guys. Have a great week.